Hey guys, I'm here in my truck, and um, as you can see, I can lay back here, nice and comfortably. I got my pillow right here. This is Cole's bed right here, but he's down here at my feet here. And, um, I'm pretty comfortable. I got enough room. This is my elbow, and this is the tips of my fingers here. That's how much space I have from the bed to the top here. Some people think this might be a little tight or whatever, but to me it's nice and cozy. With the reflectance, I'm nice and warm. I got a heater going on underneath there. And um, it's pretty comfortable in here. Uh, I'm gonna show you. There's cold down there. He's sitting there, right there, at my feet here. Yeah, he's nice and cozy there. That's where he likes to sleep. So I'll let him just lay there. And uh, this is how I live in my truck, camper. I'm gonna turn these lights off so these neighbors can't see me in here. And all these lights on inside here. But um, yeah, I should've put my socks on. But anyway, this is how I roll in my truck cap camper. It's nice and cozy in here. Got the heater going and I'm nice and warm. But um, I would never do this inside of a car. I mean, this is actually, I would rather have an eight foot bed on my truck, or but it's like a six and a half foot bed. But it's just, you know, long enough for me to be able to lay in here stretched out nice and straight. I got my pillow and I'm on my sleeping bag and my mat. And it's pretty comfortable in here. Really is pretty comfortable. Um, I'm, I had to sleep in my car that I had before I had this truck. At one point, wherever I went to uh, to Illinois to go see the solar eclipse, and when I went down there to see the eclipse, I um, I pitched my tent at a campsite, but then I left the campsite to go try to get a closer look because then somebody told me that I was in I wasn't in the path of totality, so I went across the river to the um, another campsite that was uh, closer to the totality and uh, I ended up not being able to get back because I crossed across the river on a ferry and couldn't get back across. I caught the last one across. So I ended up sleeping in my Cadillac CTS that night and the next day, you know, was the eclipse. So uh, I went on ahead and saw it, whatever, but it was a miserable night sleeping in a Cadillac CTS when you're six foot two and almost 240 pounds is not a, a good thing, you know. So I, I vowed, I'm like, never again am I sleeping inside of a car. And that's why I got a truck now. I would never get another car again the rest of my life, period. Not even a second car. If I, if I, if I, if I have enough money to get another vehicle, it'll be another truck. It won't be a car. I'll never buy a car again. From now on, I want something that I can live in if I have to. You know, as expensive as vehicles are, you should be able to live in it wherever because you're almost paying the same amount as you're paying for a house now for these cars now. So if you can't live in it wherever you're wasting your money, as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you're a small person, you probably could live in a, you know, in a hatchback or a uh, a small SUV. But um, if you're 6'2", you know, I'm 230 pounds now, 220, 20 or uh, somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds. I've lost a lot of weight. But um, yeah, get a truck. Always get a truck, man, because you don't know what the future may hold. You know, you might, your wife might put you out of the house. You know, you might uh, end up stranded somewhere where you can't get home. Uh, you might end up stranded on the freeway. You know, anything could happen. Your car could break down. You know, but if you got the gear and supplies inside your vehicle, you can stay inside your vehicle and, and, and live, you know, for a couple of days if you have to, you know. But in a car, I mean, you could do it in a car, but you're going to be very, very uncomfortable. I am snug as a bug in a rug in this truck right now. Um, you've seen videos of me in this truck while it's sitting in my driveway. Sometimes I'd sleep in this truck when I got a perfectly good bed in the house. I would sleep in this truck in the driveway because it's so comfortable, 
you know, I really went all out to make things really comfortable. I, I made it so comfortable because I tried to make it comfortable enough for my girlfriend to stay in here. But um, she doesn't want no part of this, you know. That's why it's so plush or whatever. But, you know, so, you know, me, I would have just threw a mattress on the floor or a sleeping bag on the floor of this truck, and that would have been good enough. But trying to make it, you know, comfortable for her, you know, end up making it where it's, you know, comfortable for me. I mean, beyond belief, you know, I mean, it's crazy. I got a microwave in here, you know, I got, you know, a fan here. I've got fan underneath. I've got heat going in here. I've got lights. I've got an extra bed for my dog to sleep on, which he never uses. He always sleeps down here at my feet, but it's okay. But anyway, um, that's all I got to say about that. I just had to make this quick video because I watched a buddy of mine um, do a video of him sleeping in his car and I really felt sorry for him because he did not look comfortable at all. You know, maybe he was comfortable with her to each his own. Some people can do that, but that is not for me. And for most people, you know, if you have to um, end up sleeping in the vehicle, you're going you're gonna to love me for if you take my advice to get a truck, you know, and not a car. You know, you got to think about the future. You never know what might happen. You know, I've got no intention of being homeless. I like my house. There's no way I want to be full time doing this. But if I had to, it's so comfortable that I could do it if I had to. I wouldn't want to. Make no mistake. I like having a house to live in. I don't want to live in this truck, you know, but if I had to, I could do it relatively comfortably if I had to, but I would have to really have to, to do that because it is not my kind of lifestyle I want to live. I'm staying in this truck because I'm working on a job that's so far from home that um, I'd rather camp out in the truck overnight than make the commute back and forth to the job. That's why I'm here. But, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm planning on going to Florida this winter and living in this truck and working on a job during the week, you know, and doing it that way, you know, because I can't afford to, to spend money to buy a hotel in Florida, but I want to spend the winter in Florida. And I might visit, you know, other states in the you know, country or whatever. And this will be a comfortable way of doing it and a cheap way of doing it. So anyway, Keep watching my videos and you're gonna see one hell of an adventure um, with me, my truck, and my little buddy Cole right here, my dog. And um, anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.